Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Gray markets finished up mixed yesterday. You had corn and beans trading lower while wheat finished slightly higher on the day. Big news out is yesterday afternoon with the crop progress report, so let's take a look at that real quick. Grab our whiteboard here. All right, so let's get in close here. We got a decent amount of data to go over here. Let's start with good to excellent ratings in their change. So corn came in at 63% good to excellent. That was unchanged from last week. Some in the trade were expecting it to go up by maybe 1% to 2%, and it remained unchanged. Beans came in at 63% as well, and that was down one from the previous week. They were expecting it to come in around 1% to 2% higher as well, along with corn, so that was a little bit of a shocker. We're seeing beans rally a tiny little bit this morning due to that. And then wheat came in at 68%, which was unchanged on the wheat. So now let's go over here to corn silking. Came in at 71%. That's up 28% from last week. You got beans blooming. Came in at 19% or I'm sorry, 65%, and that's a gain of 19% last week. And then wheat headed came in at 94%. That's an increase of 9% from last week. And then we're going to get into doing here for corn, 8%. Didn't have any data last week, so it's the first round of doing data that we got. And then for beans, you got potting, 20%. That's a 12% increase from last week. And then this is the uh, winter wheat harvest came in at 81%, which is a 6% increase from last week. So if you want to get a good rundown of these numbers, log into grainanalyst.com. You'll be able to get them all there. Moving forward this morning, uh, there was USDA announced sales, 290,000 metric tons of soybeans, unknown destination for 2013-14 delivery. So some good demand out there for uh, new crop beans. One thing also to keep your eye on is there's word coming through that uh, SRW wheat's having germination issues uh, where ripe kernels are germinating in the field, and that's causing some uh, quality concerns. So that's something to keep your eye on in the wheat market as well. And that's all we got for today, so have a great day. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risk involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.